What we need to do now is we need to download the whiteboard tool for our computer. The way that you download the whiteboard tool is you find the download icon. It looks like an arrow that's pointing down. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna open up this window here. Now there's lots of different programs that ViewSonic makes that you can download. But again, we're gonna be focusing on whiteboard today. You'll see whiteboard is up here in the top left corner. And then there's three icons below it. This is for Windows, Android, and if you have a Chromebook, you can download Whiteboard. We're gonna be downloading Windows today so you can get started with that. But the process is similar if you're using Android or Chromebook as well. So we're gonna click the Windows icon. And what this is gonna do is it's going to download an MSI file for us. So this is kind of a big file. It's a couple hundred megabytes. So just be aware it might take a minute for it to download. Once it's finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and open this link. And we're just gonna follow the installer prompts as it installs this to my computer. So we'll click next. We'll click the install button. Now this part's important because uh, if your school computer is managed by your district and you don't have permission to make changes to your computer, maybe you need a password, uh, this part will get blocked, all right? So you might have to reach out uh, to your IT department and get a support ticket to have Whiteboard installed to your computer. If you don't need that, go ahead and follow the prompts and this will begin the install of the software. This usually goes pretty fast, but again, it can take a minute just to get all the files copied and pushed onto the computer. It also might ask to install C++ and some other files just to make sure the software runs correctly. Now what we're gonna do is finish the install. Now Whiteboard is installed on our device and let's open it. We don't need our browser anymore for a minute, so I'm just gonna minimize it. And you'll see here on my desktop, Whiteboard's been installed. If you don't see Whiteboard on your desktop, it just might be in the ViewSonic folder. So we'll go to our Start menu. We're gonna scroll down to the V section, V for ViewSonic, and you'll see the folder there. And then of course you can see Whiteboard is right there. Now we're gonna open Whiteboard, just give it a double click here. You'll notice that the first time you run Whiteboard, you're gonna get an activate this software. This is really important that you activate the software or all the features won't be uh, ready to use. So we are gonna click that blue activate button. It's gonna open up this screen where it's gonna ask you to type in your email. This is important that you type it correctly because an email is gonna be sent to that address allowing you to activate the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my email here. Now that I have my email all typed in, again, make sure it's typed in correctly and also that the emails match. We're gonna click the submit button. Give it a second to work. You're gonna get this notification that says the software has been registered and activated or we need to go check our email just to make sure. Remember the way that you do that, is you just head to your browser and you're gonna go to your email and see if you get an email from my view board. I don't have one, so my software's already been activated. So we're gonna go back to Whiteboard, and you'll see here I'm not getting an activation notification, which means my software's ready to go. But that is important that you follow those steps to make sure that Whiteboard is installed and activated and ready for us to use.